welcome back thanks for clicking so we're going to be checking out the spirituality inside a mosque versus inside a church When she's cooking supper and man, everything's getting grilled in there, and your children sitting around here like a bunch of catfish at the end of a drain pipe, soaking up all of that filth, you just sneak yonder into the garage and you get you. <laughs> and, I, and you come back, and while your wife's are cooking, you say, Children, you may want to move back a little bit. And you take this thing. Oh! What's this? You say, when she comes running in, you be standing there like this going, ah, I hate it, ah, I hate it. Ah, she ain't gonna say nothing. You stay away from you, listen to me. You say, well, he may never come back. Well, he ain't here now. And where have you been, Mr. Underwood? And I noticed on the calendar I'm supposed to marry y'all. What makes you think I'd marry you? You're one of the sorriest church members I have. You're not worth 15 cents. Satan gave me this mess. I mean, it's a lie of the devil. I shouldn't have said that. You are going to die. But although we're going to experience a time. Oh, crap. Satan gave me this mess. I mean, it's a lie of the devil. I shouldn't have said that. And the power of God is flowing all through your body, my brother. It just, just rip the brace off. Take the brace off of your neck. Did you hear me? Take it off of your neck. Can you hear me out there? Take it off of your neck. Take it off of your neck. Satan gave me this mess. I mean, it's a lie of the devil. I shouldn't have said that. The word of God is potent. The word of God is his sperm. What the hell did you just say? The word of God is his sperm. Satan gave me this mess. I mean, it's a lie of the devil. See the tree. You see the tree. That one next to Morula, where those people are sitting. I see the tree of life. Ne? Go eat. <laughs> but, but is it possible they can eat that? And only when I say stop, what? but that they can eat. Satan gave me this mess. I mean, what the Holy Spirit is doing is instant. Some are going to lose five kgs, some ten kgs, some twenty kgs. Right now, I command every fat to burn. Satan gave me this mess. I mean, it's a lie. Fat burn. Fat burn. Fat burn. I command your body to shrink. وامتاز اليوم أيها المجرمون ألم أعهد إليكم يا بني آدم ألا تعبدوا الشيطان ألا تعبدوا الشيطان إنه لكم عدو مبين الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم ما 
مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين القارعة ما القارعة وما أدراك ما القارعة يوم يكون الناس كالفراش المبثوث وتكون الجبال كالعهن المنفوش فأما من ثقلت موازينه فهو في عيشة راضية وأما من خفت موازينه فأمه هاوية وما أدراك ما هي نار حامية الله Guys, what did I just watch? It's very sad to see this kind of videos when it comes to Christianity. Just imagine the first pastor we watched. That man sounded more like a comedian than a preacher. How can a preacher of God display such things? That is not what Christianity is supposed to, Christianity is supposed to preach about. He's supposed to preach about love, about God, about how to get closer to God, humanity. At first, I was kind of confused. I thought the man was a comedian. Like, he actually broke the TV or because he was trying to prove a point or he was trying to demonstrate the, the example he made. What kind of demonstration was that? What are you trying to preach to your congregation? What are you trying to tell your members? It's so bad. Ah. There, there are lots of, you know, the, most of the clips showed in this video breaks my heart that the churches are turning into something else. The churches are, most churches or we like, okay, some of these churches are turning into entertainment. Is the church an entertainment? Is it for entertainment or is it for spirituality? The church is supposed to grow us spiritually, supposed to charge us spiritually, supposed to get us up to God. What's what? And that other one where I saw when the man was performing, you know, doing some miracles and he told them to go to the tree and they were eating leaves. Why? What kind of healing is that? What kind of deliverance is that? Why would they eat leaves? I'm not, I'm not trying to judge anybody because who am I to judge? I'm nobody. I cannot judge. It's only God that can judge and knows his people. But it's just it just break my heart. Church, some of these churches are supposed to preach about God, about salvation, mostly preach about something else. It's so sad. Just see the mosque. See how spiritual they are, connected they are to God. That is the reason why most non-Muslims keep on going to mosque to learn about Islam. Most non-Muslims keep on converting to Islam. I reacted to a movie some time ago and in that video, a lot of non-Muslims killed outside just to go to the mosque, to listen to the recitation, just to go to the mosque, to learn about Islam. And that day when they got to the mosque, the mosque was closed, waited till the mosque was opened. They all entered and they listened to the recitation and that recitation gave them peace. They were all connected. Everybody was connected spiritually. So what is happening? What is going on? What, what just happened? What did I just watch? What is that? My God, it's painful guys. It's painful. It's painful. I don't know. It's painful. Christianity needs to do better. 
the preachers of God need to do better. Let's connect to God more. Let's focus on God more. I know vanity upon vanity, all is vanity. Let's focus on God, who is our maker. See, you no, know, on the last days, where are we going to be? Christianity is new to do better. This was really so sad to watch. Very, very. Well, thank you so much. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box concerning this video. What do you think, guys? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more. Like, share, and comment. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.